Hi there, my name is Stevie and it's awesome to meet you guys. This video is the first of a series of neuroscience videos inspired by how the great masters like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo used anatomy to further art. I'm hoping to use art to further anatomy, believing of course that one of the most beautiful artworks in this world is the human body. In this video, I'll be taking you through the anatomy and function of the brain, looking at the occipital, parietal, frontal and temporal lobes, as well as the spinal cord and cerebellum. As I'm painting, the more obsessive compulsive types may have noted that the watercolor seems to blend into each other. And this is really important because while we have given names to most of the areas of the brain, what function each area does is still being discovered. So let's start off with the occipital lobe. Although we think that our eyes are the sight organs, actually, our brain does all the seeing. In the brain, the greatest landmark is the central sulcus, silky obviously being the gaps. In very simplistic terms, it divides the frontal and parietal lobes of the brain. Another very obvious landmark is the big blob at the base of the brain. This part of the brain is called the cerebellum and is in charge of things like walking properly, which we call gait, and routine movements like driving a car. Going up, back up to the neocortex of the brain, or new part of the brain, the parietal lo lobe also helps us to move and do actions, as well as do maths. Although this part of the brain loves doing, I think that maybe mine didn't love doing maths as much as it should have. Next to the central sulcus, the black line separating the frontal and parietal lobes, in the parietal lobe is the part of our brain responsible for sensing the world. It tells us that cat's fur is silky soft and that strawberry pips feel funny on our tongues. This part of the brain is called the postcentral gyrus and although a part of the parietal lobe is separated from it by the postcentral sulcus, post meaning behind the giant landmark of the central sulcus. In front of the central sulcus is the precentral gyrus, a part of the frontal lobe again separated by the pre, in front of, central gyrus. While the parietal lobe does movement, this part of the brain plans movement, thinking carefully about which muscles need to get which signal so that you don't stick your finger into your nose whilst trying to tie your shoelaces. As I said earlier, the frontal lobe is generally the thinking part of our brain. It helps us to decide on moral choices of right and wrong and understand social behaviors like giving roses to a loved one, as well as appropriate responses like going aww in response to the roses. It also holds the language centers responsible for us thinking of the word aww and producing it. The temporal lobe is then a thinker and a doer. Not only does it consolidate, which means store our memories in an awesome memory library type of vibe, it also has the auditory cortex, which is where we hear and interpret the sounds that we hear. Finally, the spinal cord is the connector. It connects our brain and our bodies so that they can work harmoniously together, ultimately performing the brain's function. So, to recap, the occipital lobe is actually our view to the world. Although, again, our eyes get most of the credit. Um, but I suppose light impulses do go from them all the way through our brain to the occipital lobe. So it is a kind of co-authorship situation there. The parietal lobe, again, responsible for movement, maths, and the post-central gyrus, responsible for all of our sensory information from the outside world into our brain. The temporal lobe is responsible for creating wonderful memories and maybe those not so wonderful, 
but memories nonetheless in a beautiful almost picture perfect way although of course that would be jaded by our personal perceptions the pre-central sulcus and gyrus again are planning movement sending all that information to the parietal lobe so we can actually move while our frontal lobe is thinking about the more important questions of in life like philosophy and what other amazing thoughts it's going to send down our spinal cord to the rest of our body. Finally, the beautiful thing called the cerebellum, keeping us walking straight and driving not into trees. Have an awesome day.